Well, I want to extend a, a warm welcome to uh, Prime Minister Ali Miriam and his delegation. Uh, when I spoke uh, uh, previously at, uh, at the Africa Summit about uh, some of the bright spots and progress that we're seeing uh, in Africa, uh, I think there's no better example than what has been happening in Ethiopia. Uh, one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Uh, we have seen uh, enormous progress uh, in a country that uh, once had great difficulty feeding itself. It's now uh, not only uh, leading the pack in terms of uh, agricultural uh, production in, in uh, the region, uh, but uh, will soon be a, a next exporter, potentially not just of agriculture, but uh, also power because of uh, the development uh, that's been taking place there. Uh, we're strong trading partners, uh, and uh, most recently, Boeing uh, has done a deal with uh, uh, Ethiopia, which will result in uh, jobs here in the United States. Uh, and uh, in discussions with uh, Ban Ki-moon yesterday, uh, we discussed how critical it is for us to uh, uh, improve uh, our effectiveness when it comes to peacekeeping and conflict resolution. And it turns out that uh, Ethiopia uh, may be one of the best in the world, uh, one of the largest contributors uh, of peacekeeping, one of the most effective fighting forces uh, when it comes to uh, being placed in some very difficult uh, situations and helping to resolve conflicts. Uh, so uh, Ethiopia has been uh, not only a, a leader uh, economically in the continent, but also uh, when it comes to uh, security. And, and, and trying to uh, resolve some of the long-standing conflicts there. Uh, we are very appreciative of those efforts, and we look forward to uh, partnering with them. Uh, this will give us an opportunity to talk about how we can enhance our uh, strategic uh, uh, dialogue around a whole range of uh, issues from health, uh, the economy, uh, agriculture, but also some hotspot uh, areas like uh, South Sudan, where Ethiopia has been working very hard trying to uh, bring the parties together, but uh, uh, recognizes that uh, this is a challenge that we're all going to have to work uh, together on uh, as part of an international community. Uh, so uh, I want to uh, extend my thanks uh, to uh, the Prime Minister for his good work, uh, and we look forward to uh, not only an excellent discussion, but uh, a very productive uh, relationship going forward. Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. First of all, uh, I would like to thank you very much for receiving us uh, during this very busy time. Uh, we value very much the relationship between the United States and Ethiopia. And uh, as you mentioned, my country is moving, transforming the economy of uh, uh, the nation. But uh, needless to say that the support of the United States in our endeavor to move forward has been remarkable. I think the most important thing is to have uh, a human capability uh, to develop ourselves. And the United States has supported us in uh, the health programs that helped us uh, move forward in having a healthy uh, human being that can produce. And as you mentioned, agriculture uh, is the main source of our economic growth. And that has been the case because uh, we do have uh, our farmers, you know, uh, uh, which are, uh, uh, you know, uh, devoid of malaria, which is the main debilitating disease while producing. So I think that has helped us a lot. And uh, we value also the support the United States has offered to us in terms of uh, uh, engaging the private sector, especially in the, uh, your initiative and uh, the Power Africa program, uh, which is taking shape. I think it's remarkable and a model uh, kind of, you know, uh, approach, and in that sense, uh, uh, we are obliged to thank you very much for this program and to deepen uh, this, uh, you know, Power Africa initiative. Beyond that, you know that uh, uh, through your initiative and, and the leaders uh, in the United States, we have the Alliance for Food Security and Nutrition, which is uh, the most important program, uh, where uh, private public partnership is taking shape. We have a number of U.S. Uh, investors now engaged in uh, uh, agricultural production and helping the smallholder farmers, uh, which is the basis for our uh, agricultural, uh, you know, 
the growth that's taking place now in Ethiopia. Uh, besides, you know, peace and security is very essential for any uh, kind of development to take place. In that sense, uh, our cooperation in uh, uh, peace and security and pacifying the region, the continent, as well as our whole of Africa, which is a troublesome region, you know. I think this has helped us a lot, you know, uh, to bring uh, peace and tranquility in, uh, in the region. And we feel that uh, we have strong cooperation. We have to deepen it. We have to extend uh, our efforts uh, to pacify uh, the region and the continent. Of, of course, also, we have to cooperate globally, not only in, our, in Africa. Uh, and that relationship has to, has to continue. So, Mr. President, thank you very much for receiving us. Uh, uh, we value uh, this relationship, which is excellent, and we want to deepen and continue with that. Thanks, uh, two last points I want to make. Uh, obviously, we've been talking a lot about terrorism, uh, and the focus has been on ISIL. But uh, Somalia, uh, we've seen al-Shabaab, uh, an affiliate of al-Qaeda, uh, wreak havoc uh, throughout that country. Uh, that's an area where uh, the cooperation and uh, leadership uh, on the part of Ethiopia is uh, making a difference as we speak, and we want to thank them for, for that. Um, so our counterterrorism cooperation and the partnerships that we've informed with countries like Ethiopia uh, are going to be critical to uh, our overall efforts to defeat terrorism. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, the Prime Minister and uh, the government uh, is going to be organizing elections in Ethiopia this year. Uh, I know something about that. We've got uh, some midterms coming up. Uh, and so we'll have an opportunity to talk about uh, civil society and, and governance and how we can uh, uh, make sure that uh, Ethiopia's progress uh, you know, and, and example uh, can uh, extend to uh, civil society as well and, and making sure that uh, throughout the continent of Africa we continue to widen uh, and broaden uh, our efforts at democracy, uh, all of which isn't just good for politics but uh, ends up being for good for economics as well as we discussed at, uh, the, uh, at the Africa Summit. So thank you very much, everybody.